So Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Welcome to the South Rail Systems Alliance at Christmas. Over the next 10 days, the South Rail Systems Alliance will be working at Newport, Paddington, Old Oak Common, Slough, Southall, Colchester and Ashford. This 10 day period allows us to do major infrastructure works. In order to carry out this work, on the South Rail Systems Alliance alone, there will be 2,000 unsung heroes giving up their Christmases to rebuild the nation's railways. Most of the Alliance members are committed to work during the Christmas and festive period between Christmas and New Year, but we are here to serve the passenger first. Let's take a look and speak to some of the personalities delivering that work over the next few days. Over the next few days, we are doing some track renewal work on the approach towards Paddington Station. By undertaking this work, we will help to mitigate any future speed restrictions or any closures of track that may happen in the future. And this will help ensure that passengers can still enjoy high speed, safe, comfortable journeys as they approach Paddington Station. It's key to the infrastructure and keeping the trains moving. Putting the passenger first is essential with obviously the population growing in London. You know, it's good to see a lot of the guys giving up their Christmas. We know that the passenger comes first and we have to deliver all these sites with the same priority as each one of them actually deserve. We're here at Old Oak Common this Christmas installing two under track crossings. We're out here making the most use of the railway access while the demand for the railway is at its lowest. We're here at Southall East Junction and we are renewing the track. We're replacing two units of S&C and we're also doing some plain line track on the up relief. So it's never a good time to shut the railway, you know, so people want to travel at all times of the year really. So we have to try and pick the the least bad time to do it um, and so at Christmas time when people are generally at home with families um, gives us a good opportunity to get access to the railway and renew the infrastructure. We've had a new team formed with the new Southern Rail Systems Alliance and this is our first Christmas so a massive amount of integration that's gone in to make sure we make the most of this access so we can put less disruption onto the passenger and make sure their journeys are more efficient. We want everyone to be safe and we want everyone to go home with a good renewal because that won't need to be renewed again for quite some time. At Ashford, we are renewing three crossover units and associates at Plain Line. A large scale project like this will involve a lot of planning, which has to be taking place during Christmas. You know, we put the hours in. We all work very hard to make sure the railway will be finished in time for the new year and for the passengers to get back on their journeys. So here at Colchester this Christmas, uh, we've got a 10 day blockade. We've got an SNC renewal, which is the switches and crosses. We've got seven to renew. On top of that, we've got some quite significant platform adjustments. Uh, we're putting the passenger first this Christmas by doing this blockade at Colchester in a short amount of time while the passengers aren't travelling so we can get the work done. I've been working here since the start about four months ago. It's nice to see the project through to the end over Christmas. After the Christmas break, the station will look better than it did before the start. It will have been resurfaced and the rails will be shiny and it'll look like a brand new infrastructure. Christmas will be on the 2nd of January. I had Christmas with my daughter last night. It's a lot of sacrifice working over Christmas. I'm so proud of the teams and the work they do when we'd all love to be with our family celebrating. Favourite Christmas film? Ooh. Definitely It's a Wonderful Life, without a doubt. Be Home Alone? But Die Hard. It has to be Die Hard. SBL Lawrence. Lawrence of Arabia. Elf. When I was six, I got my first dog and I named him Scooby. He was a legend, so that was definitely the best present I ever got. Lego. Always Lego. Christmas present I read was for children. I think it's more just sentimental. I always like receiving presents from my mum because actually uh, I come from an Asian background and the fact that we give presents to each other is quite a new thing. So I like going home and receiving. My mum would always give me like pyjama buttons or something like that. Top is person to buy a gift for for Christmas would not doubt to be me, my wife. So the toughest person I've had to buy gifts for this Christmas would be my partner. Uh, it's funny you say that. I've um, bought a present, but it isn't for Christmas. So I happened to buy my, my wife-to-be, shall I say. I've bought her an engagement ring. She's yet to know. It's controversial, but I'm, I'm having to go to Brussels Sprouts. Five minutes all day long. 
Pigs in blankets. 100%. This festive season, I'm grateful for my family being healthy and well and enjoying the festivities, even though I'm here at the blockade working to help put the passengers first.